how fast can Divi run, Divi the theme, compared to Divi Builder, the plugin? That's the question that came up for me today when I was working on uh, my own site, WP Theme Speed. This is Brett from WP Theme Speed. Uh, now, this site ha had faded a few years back, and I'm in the midst of merging and migrating a couple sites into one, and we're going to roll out a new and improved WP Theme Speed in the near future. As I do that, I am converting WP Theme Speed, which runs on currently on the Studio Press uh, Apparition theme, uh, the Genesis framework powering this whole thing, to one that is powered by Divi. And as I get each of the pages on the site running, I am converting them into Divi powered pages with the Divi Builder plugin. And I realized, I wonder how fast a site can run when it's using the Divi Builder plugin versus the full-blown Divi theme itself. So I'm going to try a couple different tests, uh, speed tests. I'm going to use web page test uh, as uh, the engine that uh, reviews how fast this site will load. And we'll take a look and, and compare it. So right now I'm running Apparition uh, Child theme for Studio Press's Genesis, Genesis framework. And I have the Divi Builder uh, plugin running. So it's running on the home page. This is the home page. And I'll point out that most of this home page uh, is uh, is powered not so much by Divi. There's not a lot of Divi things going on here except for in the blog down here. Um, this part up here is powered by sidebars. Ages ago when I first built this site, a lot of things were done with sidebars and custom sidebars for different pages. Um, and this site's under construction a bit, so this is a stripped down version of what it used to look like when it was up and running. So I'm gonna look at the home page, and we're just gonna do this before and after speed test. So here's the home page. We'll hop into web page test, and we'll run it. Uh, this is a desktop Android, iOS, and the Chrome version. We'll get that test started. And while that runs, I'm gonna point out too that I have uh, advanced custom uh, form fields running on this site as well. And this is uh, a theme review page built with ACF. And this isn't the best apples to oranges test, but I wanna test and see how fast this runs too. So the bottom part is what it used to look like, uh, built the ACF way years back. Uh, and I have converted this into a Divi version of this, pulling this Divi information. And uh, as I look at this, this is uh, there's a couple uh, formatting errors going on here with Divi and what it's pulling. There's some things that I haven't totally cleaned up, but I'm going to try and run a speed test on this page as well, uh, just because I'm curious as to how fast uh, Divi Builder plus ACF running on Genesis works with uh, Divi Theme, which can uh, pull in dynamic content, something that I don't think is totally available uh, with Divi Builder, it kind of is or kind of isn't, I'm not totally sure. So uh, working with Divi's uh, dynamic content is a new area for me, and I've been pleasantly surprised by how easy it is to format the output of dynamic content that might be powered from advanced custom fields or a number of other systems. So I'm gonna start a test on this page too and get it going. And again, this is running Genesis Framework with Divi Builder. And we'll go back to our home page test and take a look at how fast things were. And as you can see, uh, grades aren't too bad. Uh, load time was three seconds. Uh, and uh, uh, overall, not, not so bad. The images need compressed. There's some tune-up work that I need to do on this site. It was tuned up years ago, but it's not tuned up for 2019. And it uh, could definitely be better. Now, uh, we'll hop in and take a look at this. And uh, this page came in a little slower. This is the one that's running advanced custom form fields and a number of different Divi modules too. It came in at 5.6 seconds. Uh, and uh, I may even rerun that test. Sometimes things change after a cache has been hit. The home page is probably uh, might be a little different there, uh, a little more activity than this deeper page. So there is my before. Uh, and uh, we're waiting for that last uh, thing too. I'm gonna grab some screenshots uh, as I'm making this video and uh, uh, go from there. So this is the before and we'll get to the after after I've uh, switched this back over to Divi theme. Pausing the video now. 
Okay, so here's part two. I have uh, deactivated the Genesis uh, child theme and activated uh, Divi theme. Well, you know, basically I just activated Divi theme. This is actually a child theme of Divi, uh, stripped down version from one of the uh, easy to want, easy to build a child theme for Divi sites. I don't recall which one. And so this is the new homepage, slightly different than the last one. I'm doing a juggling a couple different things, and I do want to capture speed, uh, but my intention wasn't to make these exact. It wasn't an apples to apples, but it's close. And uh, this is the uh, new section with the ACF things, uh, with ACF running, advanced custom form fields. And it is a little different because some things uh, don't show up here. They're not supposed to with the Divi version. Um, so we're going to rerun the test. So this is the speed that we had on the home page before when we were running Divi Builder, the plugin, uh, with a Genesis framework uh, child theme. So I'm going to click to rerun the test. Oh, and of course, they want me to have fun and identify taxis. And I think, wow, look at that. Got it right the first time. That's amazing. I should go play the lottery. Okay, and then I'm going to rerun the test uh, for that deeper page running advanced custom form fields. Previously, it had a load time of uh, 5.6 seconds. It took a second and a half before rendering actually started. And so I'm going to uh, rerun that. And uh, there's a, a long uh, uh, strip there. I, I probably need to dig into the uh, length of that quite a bit as well. There's 112 requests there, as you can see here on this advanced custom form field. So I'm curious as to how many requests are gonna be there in the future. And hey, look, you know, here we go again. How many have crosswalks? Wow, gotta love the anti-spam stuff. And that one's running too. Okay, so it's off and going. And we'll come back in here and look at this. Um, surprise, surprise. Uh, the home page came in at uh, 2.453 seconds. Let me uh, go into snag it real quick. So that was the home page, and the other one's still running. Uh, I don't recall off the top of my head, but uh, that's faster. So that's actually faster uh, than the Genesis Framework child theme that was on here before by about a half a second. It had a 3.08 second load time. This is a one-off, uh, you know, uh, uh, anyone that's done this will know that uh, the more you run speed tests, weird things can happen. It's not always consistent. Other things are happening on the server. Um, but I'm getting better uh, uh, compression scores and a number of different things here. Uh, B -A -B -A -A. Um, so cache and uh, compressed images uh, are actually running better here on Divi. I'm a little I'm a little surprised. Now this is running on WP Engine. They're fast and in my experience, they're one of the best hosting companies for using Divi, especially when you're building, doing the building or changes on Divi site. Uh, so much easier on WP Engine compared to other hosts that I've worked with. Let's go take a look at that deeper page with the advanced custom form fields. Uh, and these this came in faster too. I'll show you that previous score in case you don't recall. So uh, we had 112 requests on this page and it loaded in 5.6 uh, seconds before and now it's coming in at four seconds 72 requests that's uh, almost uh, 30 almost 40 fewer requests uh, on this page and that's with a great big featured image loading in there too uh, at the top that wasn't there before um, so I'm getting some speed improvements running the Divi theme and uh, this is on a, a site that's not terribly well optimized just a couple behind the Scenes things I'll uh, share real quick. Uh, and, and again, this is a site that's been a little faded and I'm working to rebrand and, and do some new things with it. So what this site does today is not gonna be what it does in just a couple more days. So I have uh, 25 active plugins on the site. Some of these plugins are there for legacy reasons and will leave soon. Some are new and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to need in this new build. Uh, I'm gonna be bringing some stuff across from a different site as well. So Jetpack is running, but I, I always use minimal settings with Jetpack. Um, I've got some debug things in here, um, but uh, not a whole lot, um, but not too little. Some uh, things that are turned off. I have a Squirrely, the SEO plugin running right now. 
Um, I like that for on-page stuff. I don't have Yoast turned on. Squirrely is handling that stuff. And uh, so there you have it. That's what I've got. I'm gonna be turning Shortcodes Ultimate off soon. Um, that's what some of the functionality that I got there is taken care of by Divi, so I don't need that plugin anymore. So that actually uh, might save me even a little bit more time. So thank you for uh, checking this out. I This is a one-off experiment. I'd love to get some more perspective from people that are speed testing Divi Builder, the plugin on various themes versus Divi, uh, the theme itself. And just curious which one's better. I kind of would have expected uh, a different result here. I kind of thought Divi theme might be slower. Uh, and so I'm happily surprised to see that it's getting uh, faster results than I expected. So thank you and hope you have a great day.